good morning from Daytona Beach. Yeah, all that wind noise you're probably hearing, that's what it's like to be on the beachfront at Daytona. So we're staying at Casa Del Mar, but this is our last morning here. We're getting ready to get up, go do the Biker Bells ride. But I wanted to show you the view and the resort real quick because I haven't been showing a lot of that in the videos. This is day five. So beautiful view. Our balcony, we're on the first floor so we can walk out and kind of be on this deck and everything. But let's take a look real quick and then I'm gonna try and get down to the beach and get some photos before we head to the Biker Bell ride. Anyways, we're down here at the beach shooting some photos of that beautiful 2024 CVO Street Glide in Copperhead. Man, it's a it's a really dark color. The sun's not out yet this morning. We got clouds, so uh, I, wait, I can't wait to see how this color changes in the daylight. That's one of the things about these 2024 colors. I'm finding that they're one shade when the sun is out and then a very different shade or the pearl starts popping in this paint when the sun comes out and they look totally different. I was impressed with the alpine green out in the sun much more than the photos and the videos I've seen online. So just another thing with Harley, you got to see these paint jobs in person to really judge what does it for you, what color. Everybody has different tastes. But let's go somewhere where it's not so uh, windy and noisy and the beach is crashing in. Let's go take a ride on this thing. We're going to go down the speedway and do the Biker Bells ride this morning. We're down here at Daytona International Speedway. We pulled in at 9.03. I thought kickstands were up at 9.30. We got here three minutes too late. They pulled out just before we pulled in. But our buddy John Price was waiting for us here. And uh, so I guess we're going to go do something else because we missed the Bell, Biker Bells ride, unfortunately. Uh, my understanding is they're going to ride up to Destination Daytona. So, um, you know, we've been there. I think we're going to do something else. Now, the other day we rode up to St. Augustine. But it was foggy and wet and we couldn't see a lot of the coast and stuff and we'd start in the afternoon or at noon so i think we're going to ride back up there and spend more time up there today it's a beautiful morning hopefully the weather looks good on the coast we can get some better views of the ocean do more sightseeing find us a place to get uh, lunch or something so anyway i think that is now the agenda sorry for the change in plans guys if you were looking for that ride um my bad. That's all I can say. All right, we're going to go uh, enjoy Daytona while we're here, man. Make the best of it. We just stopped at Ocean Sides here, just uh, in the Flagger Beach area, it's up, up the road from Daytona, 20 minutes, 20 miles, 30 minutes, something like that. But a uh, nice and biker bar kind of atmosphere here. Patio, we can set out and look over the ocean while we ate. Had us a uh, late breakfast. We're gonna get back on the road up to St. Augustine, but definitely good food, great view, big place. They can serve a lot of people. So uh, something to check out and stop at if you're looking for a place to eat on your way up to St. Augustine from Daytona. They've got parking all lined out here just for bikes and stuff, accommodating, putting all the cars in the back. It's just nice to see people uh, supporting Daytona Bike Week. So we're going to get back on the road. We'll see you all in St. Augustine.
All right, we have made it to St. Augustine. Uh, there's an old, looks like an old fort up here. And we're out here on the bay or the inlet. And uh, we're gonna look around a little bit. We'll show you a little bit more of St. Augustine. Beautiful ride up today. Much better than the other day. Looks like somebody just shot a cannon off over there. I thought old John here was gonna have a heart attack. He's a, he's reminding him of the days in the service. Yeah. Mike. We're headed back to the bikes. Uh, we've explored a little more of St. Augustine. Got to see a few of the shops, the old fort. Looked out at the inlet. And uh, it's pretty cool. It's a tourist trap. I mean, $20 burgers. And there's gourmet ice cream and popsicles. and But it was neat. And definitely worth coming to check out. You know, and man's got to eat. So, you know, just have to figure out if it's in your budget. We're going to head back down to the Daytona Speedway. we got to swap out and get some new bikes. Uh, well, I do. Firecracker, I get, think, is going to stay on the Heritage. And uh, I think they're going to put me on a Primer Gray Lowrider ST. That's that's my suspicion. So, uh, it's probably fitting. It's their way of uh, you know making a joke out of it because I kept calling it Primer and how much I didn't like Gray. So, that's what they're going to give me to ride. But maybe it'll grow on me. You never know. We'll see. We didn't record at the Daytona International Speedway. We were in a hurry to get Mike swapped out so they could get out of there by four o'clock. So I'm gonna hold them guys up so I didn't get the camera out there, but this is what they gave me. I thought I was getting primer. I was supposed to get primer, but uh, somebody gave me Red Rock, which is actually the same exact bike that Firecracker was riding a couple days ago. Cause when I got close to her, the Bluetooth connected to her phone and started playing her music. So uh, we fixed that, we got Bluetooth to mine. I got some jams. Uh, I'm going to ride this thing. Initial thoughts is the mid controls are a little high for me. Feel a little cramped, but I haven't rode enough to really be cramped. It just feels like I'm going to be. So we'll see, uh, you know, how it goes. I'm going to ride this thing for a few days, get a good feel for it. And uh, we'll talk about that in another video. I'll do reviews on all of these bikes that I've rode. So that's the Street Glide, the Street Glide CBO, and now the Lowrider ST. I'm probably going to get some time on the Heritage and maybe even the Hydroglide. That's the plan. So anyway, we're going to go check in here to this resort. We'll show you what this place is like, get some dinner, and uh, just keep enjoying Daytona. I just got to say, if you haven't been here, it, it's definitely worth doing one time. When I'm all done, I think I'll do a video about, you know, the things I liked, what I think about the rally overall. But right now, we're just kind of sharing with you our day-to-day -day experiences, what we're doing in Daytona.
John Firecracker went down the road to get his truck, bring it down to this resort. We're shuttling the truck everywhere when we change every day, so that's kind of a pain. But we have a vehicle if it rains so we can run around in or whatever else. Um, also, there, no drinking while we're riding on Harley Davidson's motorcycles. That's one of the things that's in the agreement, and I'm happy to abide by that. But that means if we want to go out and drink, only one person has to stay sober and they can drive the truck and everybody else can have a couple of cocktails with dinner or something. So that's another uh, another reason it turns out it's good to have the truck. Plus, we just throw all the luggage in it instead of having to carry it on our back as a backpack on the days that we're changing resorts. This is our third resort and our last one of this type of resort. And then we have a private condo I rented right up a few blocks from Main Street for the end of the week. So we'll be able to walk to Main Street, have a good time, party a little bit, and walk back to our condo and enjoy ourselves and not have to worry about that whole drinking and riding thing. So we're being good and safe while we're here as well. All right, we got recommended a restaurant down the road here about four miles called the North Turn or Racing North Turn. We're going to go find it, see if it's any good. I heard it was pretty cool, had a pretty cool atmosphere inside. So... Let's go see if we can find this thing and if the food's any good. This is going to be on south, down toward the end, not quite all the way to the lighthouse on A1A. Bikes across the street, bikes in the parking lot. See if we have to wait to eat. The food was so good, I forgot to film it. We got to eating, talking, and visiting, but it was good. I had pulled pork sandwich, fries, and uh, we're gonna head back to the resort, chill. So that's day five. Y'all take care, be safe, keep on riding, and don't forget to check out Racing's North Turn Beachfront Bar and Grill if you're in Daytona for Bike Week. We'll see you in the next one.